Um, what are some tips if you for students to make their LinkedIn profile stand out? First things first, have a photo. That's the most important thing. Make sure people know, kind of can put a face with a name. Um, I think filling it out as much as you can, right? It's almost like the, the best way I'd describe it is if you were to go shopping and the outside of the shop is not inviting at all, then I'm not really interested to go into the shop. So think about how can you make your LinkedIn profile stand out and look interesting to other people, recruiters specifically. So write down what are your skills, what are your experiences. Even if you're a student, you might have worked on certain projects that kind of highlight your strengths or, or your, your areas that you've develop, developed experiences or skills in and just put that on your LinkedIn profile. And I think one other thing I would recommend is um, if you can get a recommendation from someone, I think that always kind of validates what you're good at from someone else. Because obviously we can write about ourselves what we think we're good at, but it's always um, great to see a reference from someone. Yeah, I'm curious, do you think uh, you should be active on LinkedIn as well? Is that a good look? I think so, yes. Know that recruiters will actually look if uh, LinkedIn profiles are active. So when they reach out to people, they will actually look at analytics and insights. I used to work at LinkedIn, so I know that they do this. Mm -hmm. They obviously want to reach out to active profiles because they will then anticipate that they'll get more engagement if they were to reach out. So I think it's really important to be active on LinkedIn. Yeah, perfect. Uh, and then some strategies you would suggest for networking with people on LinkedIn, actually? Yeah, I think um, join groups that you find interesting, like Harvard Business Review, for example. That's one that I'm a part of. People are, are interested in different areas, whether it's biotech or marketing specific groups. I think joining those and just participating in the conversation, as well as following companies, if there's a particular company you would like to work for or you're interested to see what roles they have open, I think that's another great way is following, um, following people, following companies, following groups. Yeah. And do you have any advice for female students applying? Absolutely. I think the first thing I'll say to female students is apply. <laughs> I think the funny funny fact or funny stat uh, is if um, if a man looks at a job description online and they you know they qualify for maybe three out of the ten requirements they're like sure I got those three I'm sure I can learn those other seven if a woman looks at that same job description and they hit seven out of the ten they're like ooh, I only hit seven I don't know about those other three I don't think I'm gonna get it and so my main thing is don't undersell yourself um, it's so important that you believe in your own abilities and, and, and so many things you can learn. It's so much about attitude and aptitude. If you have the attitude to learn and you have the skill set and the intelligence to do it, just try it. The worst thing is that you'll get rejected, right? So I think don't fear rejection and please reach out. Like I would also say if, if you want to talk to another woman in business, who has a little bit more experience, I'm here for you. I, I would love to help. Um, I also have, I've had the privilege and, and, and been fortunate to have had female mentors. So if there are female, you know, peers or uh, female role, role models in your life, ask if they're willing to have a chat with you, ask if they're willing to mentor you, ask for advice. I think that's, that's the main thing. And, and don't be shy to ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. And I think it's also okay if you don't have the confidence yet, still try it, right? You'll build confidence even from just trying. And if it doesn't work out, you will realize that it wasn't actually that bad after all anyways. I think that's an interesting one as well. I think um, I've heard before that we often our times uh, ourselves make things seem worse before they've even happened. And then actually when it happens, it's not that bad. So I think when it comes to applying as a female student, go for it. And I think the other thing is you're, you're um, I think as a, as, a, as a person hiring other people, I think women are still minority, right? Like they're still part of the diversity hiring that we're doing. So take, you know, keep that in mind and, and know that you are as, as strong and as, as valuable as a male student. So go for it. <laughs>